Hi guys and welcome to this really simple easy tutorial on how to create an Instagram bot with literally three lines of code. Right, so um, I'm going to actually just quickly show you the three lines of code I'm referring to. So the first one is this over here where you would add your username and password, right? Um, the second line of code is this over here where you would add your comment. So the comment you would like to comment on people's posts. And then the third line of code is the severe. So you'd add your tags that um, you would want to uh, uh, find people on. You, basically, you would find people using these tags. So crypto, DeFi, whatever. So you could update this to whatever tags you want to search for people with. And that's pretty much it. So that's three lines of code, right? Um, as a prerequisite, uh, you're, gonna, you're going to need uh, three things, right? So the first thing is... Uh, Visual Studio Code, you just got to download it. It's just so you can actually uh, edit over here and then run the code. It's really simple to download. Um, you can download it for Windows or Mac. Um, so just go through the steps, download it, and once you have it set up, you can just literally launch it or open it, and it should look something like this, right? The next thing you're going to need is Python. So you can just head over to Downloads, right? And you can just download the latest version of Python. So uh, if we just scroll down here, yeah, you can see uh, Python uh, 3.10. You can just hit download and download Python and just go through the, the there's a few steps that you need to go through um, just to install it on your computer. It's really simple. And then thirdly, you would need uh, a Firefox browser, um, Mozilla, in order to actually run the bot, right? Okay, so now that we have that, right, these are the three things you need. You also obviously are going to need the code. So um, all you got to do is head over to uh, this link over here. I'll leave a link to all uh, four of these in the video description. So you can just find the, the links below. Um, and then once you're over here, all you got to do is click on this button over here where it says code and then download your uh, the file, right? So it's over here. You, you're going to need to unzip it once you have downloaded it. So if you want to find it, it will be in your downloads. Um, I've already downloaded it. Uh, let's just open it up here. I'll actually go here. So as you can see, uh, this is what the file will look like. You just got to unzip it and um, it will, all, all the files will be in here, right? Okay, so once you've done that and you have uh, uh, Visual Studio Code um, up and running, all you got to do is go to File and then say open folder and then find the folder you want to open right select it and it'll open up and all these files will be displayed over here right so let's just jump straight into this um, the first thing you want to do is update your uh, username and password right so I'm just going to quickly um, walk you through this once I'm done walking you through it I'm just going to update my password just so you guys can see it and then run the actual bot. So let's just walk through this quickly. Uh, there's a few places here. So this is the one line of code I was referring to. So credentials would be here. So in the bot, you need to update it here. Credentials, you need to update it here. And there's a .env as well. But that's all in the same line of code. It uses the same line, right? So .env, bot, and credentials. Just to update your password and username. Right, so the first part of this says uh, session um, set do follow uh, true percentage is 50, right? And one time. So basically, um, the amount of times it'll basically search for these tags 500 times. Out of those 500 times, 50% of the people it finds uh, with these tags will, um, it'll follow. And then over here, uh, at uh, line 11 session set to comment uh, this is 50% of the time so you can update your comment over here so whatever you'd like to um, add as a comment you can update it over here and it will literally um, go through people with these tags it'll search for these tags and then start commenting on 50% of the people it finds right and then the next thing is your tag so obviously updated with as many tags as you like and if you want to add more tags all you've got to do is um, make sure there's a space in there right and then your 
um, two quotation marks and then add tag so let's say tag and then just make sure you put a comma straight afterwards so it's really that simple um, and then these tags are tags that you want to basically not like or you don't want to follow um, or you just don't want to see at all right so um, that's when the bots are running you, you can add as many tags as you like here as well and it's pretty much it's that, that's pretty much it it's really simple um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to quickly pause the video right um, and then I'm going to update my password and I'm going to show you how to run the actual bot so before I do that let's just go back here quickly so you need Visual Studio Code in order to uh, just make those updates um, you also need Python because it uses Python to run and then it uses uh, Firefox as well right and then the code is over here so let me quickly pause this video and then um, I'm just going to do the quickly update my password and then I'm going to show you what to do next okay so I've updated my password everything's ready um, just so you know once you've uh, uh, updated your password or entered in your password in those other files all you got to do is control s to save make sure you save the files that's very important otherwise it won't work right and then once you've saved the files go over to the folder that you open up um, in this case it's over here right and all you got to do is uh, double click on bot your terminal will open up and the bot should start running um, soon so you just got to wait a minute or so for the scripts to run normally takes about a minute so and then once it's running it literally runs by itself the whole time um, until those 500 because um, we set the session to 500 until that's finished and then the session ends and then you got to obviously um, uh, run the bot again the reason why we set it as 500 is because obviously we don't want our account to be blocked or anything like that so um, I wouldn't fiddle around with the amount of session like the session amount we have it set at 500 for a reason um, but yeah if you want to you can but obviously uh, it's at your own risk running a bot uh, generally is uh, I would say at your own risk uh, I wouldn't say it's risky as long as you don't enter in like ridiculous amounts of uh, sessions okay so this is a profile our new profile that we created as you can see I'm not doing anything the mouse is there it's now searching based on those tags Right, let's move this terminal over here. So it's just basically collecting all the, the links and um, profiles and stuff like that. So to basically continue doing this, um, and then once it's done with this, then it will start clicking on profiles and following profiles. I think at the moment it's just um, liking videos and commenting. Um, it will go into the profiles and follow 50% of the people as well. So that's it. The bot's pretty much running. Um, I don't really want to keep you guys here watching this the whole time. It's a bot, so it'll run by itself. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please give us a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel for uh, more videos like this because we'll be doing videos on more bots and other cool things online so i hope to see you in the next video thank you very much for watching